Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading. It is going to be focused on your love life. If you'd like to learn how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. So let's find out what is going on in your love life. What is going on in Aquarius's love life? Okay, very interesting. There appears to be some type of an ending that has occurred in your love life, right? I feel like Spirit is indicating that, you know, uh, the two of you may have parted ways in a manner that might have been a little bit daunting, right? I do pick up this energy of the fact that, you know, what the two of you shared with one another was once a very loving, emotional, kind relationship where two people connected very heavily on the basis of understanding, compassion, and love, right? I do feel like those energies are coming through very, very heavily. Uh, some of you might have been touched by this individual's ways. They might have been deeply poetic. They might have been the type of individual who had very romantic tendencies. I picked those up very, very heavily here from these particular set of energies. I'm also sensing here that for many of you, you don't really know where this person stands in their own personal life. There's this element of, you know, things that are being uh, a little bit hidden in obscurity. It feels as if, you know, your person is in a position where they don't share much about their life. It feels like they're being, um, you know, to themselves a lot. I feel like before they might have been very emotional in terms of expressing themselves, you know, uh, they'll tell you what they're feeling, they'll tell you what they're going through, they'll express a lot of things. But now it appears as if, you know, because there's a lot of, you know, confusion in your person's own personal world, it's, uh, you know, you can't really read much into it, you can't read them like you used to, uh, because there's certain factors here that are obscuring a lot of things, okay? That's one of the things I'm sensing here. The next energy I'm noticing is the fact that, you know, this person, uh, they do care about you. There is this energy of hoping in their heart that the two of you will work it out. But at the same time, I pick up this energy of which there's certain things that sort of blind them to what it is this connection uh, represents, you know, it feels like those kind of energies are coming through. It's like their heart is with you, but their mind is elsewhere. And so they're not emotionally connecting with you in the way that they used to. Very interesting to see that there's those kind of elements coming through. I'm noticing here as well that there's this energy which is indicating uh, that in the set of circumstances, you know, there's a part of you that wants to talk to this individual, there's a part of you that wants to try to figure out, you know, a lot of the things that have been happening in your relationship. Let's get some further clarity.
there's a lot of deep regret in this situation yeah whatever happened between the two of you must have been a very difficult set of circumstances it feels as if those emotions of rawness loss suffering is very much present here in this particular uh, set of cards i feel like you know your person has had a lot of emotion for you for a long time but for some reason they haven't been able to show it for some reason they haven't been able to give you what exactly it is you wanted if you wanted committed commitment and stability i feel like there was something that was tying this individual to another set of circumstances that prevented them from doing so and maybe it was their career maybe it was certain factors in their life i'm picking up those energies very very heavily the next set of cards are indicating to me uh, that in this situation you know uh, there's an element of their courage that is coming through for some reason. They might think that you don't see them as courageous or strong. They may feel as if, if they're a man, that uh, their manliness is coming into question. Yeah, if they're a woman and you're a man, they could be questioning yours. Uh, but that's what I'm picking up from the way these cards have come out. It feels like there's an energy of which um, one person is doubting the role they play in this gender situation between the two of you you know it feels like those kind of very unusual energies are coming through there's there's questions regarding you know their capacity to provide their capacity to uh be there it, it feels like these kind of dynamics are coming through uh, to a certain sense yeah the next set of energies i'm seeing here is that this person is not wanting to look at the situation and see you as an emotional human being at this point in time that's how switched off they are from the set of circumstances it's like there's an energy which is indicating um, a desire to to show to perform to prove but at the same time uh, there's slight semblance of inadequacy that comes through here so because they don't see themselves in a certain light they can't see you in that light you know it takes that element of humanness out of the situation for some of you and for some of you, you might be deeply fascinated by this because you might see this individual as a case study. You may see this individual as a project, you know, someone that you want to sort of figure out because it feels like you're dealing with an individual that's a little bit like a malfunctioning robot. And I'm saying that with a lot of compassion for your person uh, at the same time because, you know, sometimes people go through things and they are just a little bit, you know, needing a little bit of adjustment in their own interpretation of the world and how they handle themselves and see themselves as a human you know so i'm picking up these kind of strange kind of uh, dynamics here that are coming through and and um, energy waves definitely very unique so i'm also seeing from these energies uh, that there's a sense here of your person recognizing that there's a part of them that is trying to hold on to this but at the same time, there's a part of them that is dealing with the fact that something has ended here. There has been some type of a space taken between the two of you where the two of you are either not talking, the two of you are in your own worlds, dealing with your own things and picking up those kind of energies. Um, so it, it feels like your person is disconnected, disconnected from some type of an energy socket. Like it, it just feels like that kind of thing. They're questioning themselves. They're questioning who they are. They're questioning every single thing at this point in time not knowing where they stand, not knowing what they want. It feels like those kind of things that they're going through. I feel like there's also a sense here of wanting to work things out, but then do they do this? Do they do that? Do they do X, Y, and Z? So there's this very disjointed kind of energy that I'm sensing from this individual. It could be pointing towards a much bigger dilemma or a much bigger problem that uh, your person is going through. They might be having an identity crisis. They might be having some sort of situation in their life where uh, they had a certain challenge or certain experience that made them question everything, you know. Sometimes men, they feel like if, if they have a certain experience, they might feel as if, okay, they can't be the stereotype of what men are supposed to be you know the stereotypes are so silly at the end of the day because a woman can do a lot of the things that a man can do in the sense of the brain capacity and some women are blessed to be physically strong as well like men so they can never measure up in the true sense of the word but at the same time because of the stereotypes people can lose themselves in it you know so I feel like spirit is also indicating from this particular set of circumstances, uh, this individual, when it comes to 
you trying to communicate with them there's this ego there's this pride that comes up from this individual and i feel like this individual is refusing help refusing you to provide any sort of assistance for them at this point in time let's see what are the issues a lot of a lot of pain and sadness in this situation that hasn't yet healed hasn't yet repaired i'm also picking up an energy of you know the future coming into question uh, i feel like there's still things that are unraveling here there's also an energy of uh one individual not being able to put in the work or the the required amount of um you know investment to this connection to make things work so what I'm going to explore in the extended is your person's mind, heart, and soul energy. How can you help this individual? Because it feels like someone is in pain, a uh, person's pride. I'm going to be looking and seeing, you know, what exactly is going on? What's the cause of it? Uh, what's to come in the future of the situation? What is still unraveling? How do you get this individual to invest more energy into making this connection work between the two of you? Also, uh, some advice as well. So I hope you guys have enjoyed your reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care.